Fans of the movie Top Gun will definitely want to check out the new documentary, The Blue Angels. It goes inside the cockpit to show how new recruits become members of the Navy's elite flight demonstration squadron. We're happy to have Lieutenant Commander Monica Doc Borza join us for a behind the scenes look. Monica, thank you so much for joining us. I hope. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. In 2000, you became the fourth female physician in history to serve as the flight surgeon for the Blue Angels. Wow, tell us about that role. Yes, ma'am. So in the Navy, every flight squadron has an assigned physician, a flight surgeon who went through medical school, is a doctor by trade, and then also gets to go through flight school uh, and gets to go through the evolutions that the Naval and Marine Corps aviators go through mentally, physically, academically, uh, so that we can better understand our pilots and give them the best medical care possible. And that goes for the Blue Angels, which is one of the elite squadrons in the Navy. That is something that people apply for to join that team. Uh, and I was very honored to be selected during that time. Fantastic. I mean, what an honor. Now, this movie was filmed with IMAX cameras and has some jaw-dropping aerial shots that put any Hollywood big-budget action movie to shame. What were your thoughts when you saw it? Incredible. Uh, as the flight surgeon on the team, I'm also the safety officer on the ground during the demonstrations. And so I'm on a headset with all six pilots as they're flying around. And I know exactly where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be, their altitude, their airspeed, the configuration of their jet or their flaps, their wings. Uh, it all matters uh, for us to be able to do this demonstration safely. And being the safety officer, I get to see where they're coming and going, and we all work together as a team so that we are as safe as possible. And so just incorporating the civilian aircraft that has never flown before with the Blue Angels, it took a lot of risk mitigation uh, and a lot of planning. And so we sat down with the crew and really went through step by step where the aircraft are going to be and where they can be safely in order to capture the dynamics of this flight. So when you're on the ground, what exactly are you watching and listening for up there? Absolutely. It is a show just down to the precision of not only where they are in space relative to each other, but also the voice, the cadence of boss, because we are all listening to it and have different cues that we say back at certain times. So as the safety officer, I'm looking to make sure that they are in the right place at the right time and that no one is potentially in a dangerous situation. And if they are in a dangerous situation, that is when I would speak up or um, our air safety officer, the number four, would speak up who's able to see all the, the other jets while they're flying uh, and certain cues to kind of get them a little more alert that there, something might not be in the right position. <laughs> Okay, now that brings me to my next question. Explain the importance of all the support personnel involved with the Blue Angels. Absolutely. This is not only a one through six, you know, pilot team. This takes 120 some personnel to uh, come together with this tremendous amount of teamwork to make this happen. And so the pilots, you know, they bring the lightning in the air and the wow factor, but then it's the air crew and the ground crew um, that grind the moment those jets land that bring the thunder. And they are just working constantly to make sure that these jets are ready to go so that when that pilot walks out to it, they don't even have to pre-flight it, which is unheard of in the military. You always pre-flight your own aircraft to make sure that it is safe and ready to go. In the Blue Angels, we trust the ground crew. We trust the maintainers that if they say that aircraft is ready to go, it's ready to go. And so it's a team effort. Lieutenant Commander Monica Borza, thank you so much for the insight. I think people will really enjoy this movie. Best of luck. Oh, absolutely. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you for having me.